one. So I have already played with a bit of face makeup, this one, using this one, which is a strobe ink cream, but now I want to play with this. So this is a brow pencil that has both the um, upper part and a lower part. So wax and, no wait, wax is the white one. Wax and a color pencil, so a normal pencil one. So let's take a look at the product and then start putting it on because I have, well, I have only my natural eyebrows and I have quite a lot of natural eyebrows already, but still I want to try this. I think this would, I think this could work out really nicely. That's, that's why I want to play with it. So let's look at the product a bit and then start playing. It looks like this. The full name of the product is Biss Brow Pencil and Wax Finisher. So one side is wax and the other side is a pencil. And this is the color Warm Honey. So they had quite a lot of different colors. And it was 250 euros. So of course I bought it because I love the price. If it's cheap, then I want it. So this is what it looks like outside of the package. So the wax is completely normal white wax. And if you put it on, it's well, it's extremely, it has no color and it's a very waxy. It's already taking up all the dust that I have on my hand. Sorry about that. And the other side is this nice pencil, normal pencil. And I did destroy the tip, <laughs> just so be careful with that. And the color is like this. So I think it's going to fit very nicely. You know, it doesn't matter what color your eyebrows are. I think you should always have some kind of a... Um, warm honey color like some something this never go with full black so it's really nice it's um quite stiff so but i like the stiffness it's a pencil it's not a screw up it's a normal pencil so i'm really really excited to use this and see how it actually goes so i managed to break break the package <laughs> but it's okay i just want to know how you actually are supposed to use this so Define and tame brows with the best brow pencil and wax finisher. Blah, blah, blah. Easy to use as definition and shape, whilst the clear and non-flaking wax finisher keeps brows in place. So, two directions. Uh, okay, you're so first... Okay, accidentally the <laughs> cat fell off, but that's okay. I'll pick it up later. So, you're first supposed to use the pencil part to fill in gaps using light feathery strokes. Once the desired color coverage is reached, gently apply wax finisher in the direction of hair growth. Okay, seems straightforward enough, so let's go. So, taking it and just going to fill this in using light, nice strokes, and it immediately does give color. I mean, like if you put it on your hand, it's not... Um, it's not the softest thing ever to work with. But it is a pencil and it does give color. So just going to start filling my brows out using like little strokes and um, not filling in like a block, but just going with little strokes that should, in theory, they should mimic little hair. So basically you're painting like little brow hairs on your brow. So you would have more brow hairs. For me, the very end is always the hardest because I don't really have a lot of brow hairs at the very end here. So I'm just going to fill it in. Okay, so this side is filled in. You can see it's nice and brown and I don't like this blocky part here, so just smudging it out. And this part is not filled out, so there is a difference between both parts filled out not filled out so you can see it has individual hairs everywhere and you can see the gaps but the filled out part no well theoretically no gaps to be seen so seems to be working quite nicely so let's move on with the white white wax one as well i'm taking the wax part and just it said in the direction of hair growth so it's just going oh oh it's it's straight up wax I, I don't know how i feel about that like it's clumping everything together so this is like straight up wax i i don't know i usually use clear gel and then just go over it with the same color i use as my bronzer so i don't know if I, how i feel it's i mean it's nice and it's bringing everything very streamlined like it's nice and it's bringing everything very together but it, it 
it seems to look a little bit too Instagrammy for me. I hate Instagram brows. I've never said anything to it. I really do hate Instagram brows. So it's bringing in, and it just looks like I poured straight up wax on my eyebrows and matted it all together. So I don't know how it. I don't. I don't know how I feel about that really. I'm gonna finish up. So this one is done the way it's supposed to do, and the wax is not you're supposed to put it the way it grows and it still gets little you know see little white patches in the middle so i'm gonna go find a spoolie and try to fix it up a bit but i don't know it feels weird to put wax straight up wax i've never used brow pomade so i don't know even maybe that it's what it's supposed to feel like but currently not my favorite so going to go in with a spoolie and then i'll show you what it looks like to see a comparison this is my spoolie. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Essence uh, brow pencil. That's actually really nice. And I do like using it. See? Let's see. As soon as you start going in with the spoolie or a little, little whatever and come it through, it does take a nicer shape. But still, it's a little too like wax waxy for me. So I am currently on the fence about it. If you compare the two parts, so this one is done, this one is not done, this one has wax on it as well. I don't know, it's very, it's in place, it's not going to budge, let's put it like that. It is filled out, it is nice, but I just don't know. I like my clear gel method more currently, I don't know, maybe I'm going to change my mind, but currently I like my clear gel method more. I just wipe on some clear gel and then go over it with a brown powder. That's that's how I do my eyebrows usually. So I don't know. Never used wax before, never used pomades or anything like that. So maybe, maybe this is what they all feel like. I really don't know. But I'm going to do the other side as well and then I can have a nice complete look about the whole finished product. So see you soon. So this is both eyebrows done. done. And I really don't know how I feel about it. I mean, this side, the pencil side, the color is really nice and it comes off really softly. It's not the most super soft thing ever, but it's nice to apply and I like the color. It fills things out. But the wax part, I don't know. Putting straight wax straight on your eyebrows. I just feel like I want to go over this one more time with some kind of a powder and just make sure everything's really nicely filled in. Also, which is a really big downside is that they don't... This is another thing. This is another pencil. It has a little brush and it's also just, you know, it's the Essence Brow Pencil and it has a little brush. This one does not have a brush, which is really annoying because I feel like if you put straight up wax on your eyebrows, you should be able to comb them through and put them into the shape you want. So not a huge fan. Like the color, do not know how it feel about this maybe I'll use it more I don't know yet right now I'm not a huge fan so what I am going to do I'm gonna finish up everything because I like saying the nice final thoughts and showing you what the whole finish look looks like plus it's a great reason to make do pictures make pictures of myself and I do like I don't have a lot of opportunities to take nice pictures of myself so I might as well use all I have so I'm gonna finish up and then we're gonna see what the whole finished thing looks like. But I don't know. I was expecting more. Let's put it like that. <laughs> so this one, unbelievable, but I don't actually like it. I found a cheap makeup item. I don't really like it. I mean, like, again, I like the pencil portion. I have multiple swatches here already. It's a really nice pencil. It's nice, it gives, you don't have to go very hard. Also, it's not the softest, so it's a really nice consistency. I like the consistency, but the wax part is crap. I don't know, maybe this is what normal people wear their eyebrows like, but I'm not used to it. They feel weird, they feel very waxy, and I just don't like it. I can't get behind it. And it has no kind of little brush or spoolie or something, that, so you can kind of go over them and make them into the shape you like. What you get with the wax, that's what you get. And I, I don't know, <laughs> I just don't like it. I feel very weird. Usually I love playing with like cheap makeup, but apparently there is cheap makeup that just sucks. Huh, never knew. I still like the pencil. I, I'm going to keep using the pencil. I just don't like the wax part. <laughs> so I guess it's a 50% win right now. <laughs> 
well it was a very fun idea to do uh, usually I just use any kind of clear gel and go into my bronzer with a little brush and just fill out the lines and it does it wonderfully it does not stick into your onto your head like it does with this product so I like that kind of a not so strongly sticking feeling and uh, it still gives you a very nice natural finish right now I feel like this is not a very very natural finish so not a huge fan I can't help it and just it's just not a huge fan this time so 50% pass <laughs> let's put it like that I mean like in every crappy product there is some kind of a you know good point and I mean you can use this just use a spoolie or a little brush or something from some someplace else or just use your fingers and make them stick the way you want but not the best wax it's just not so thank you for watching my video that i hoped was going to be positive but it turned out to be quite negative so still thank you for watching i hope you had fun i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you again watching some of my other videos so thank you so much and bye